Did God originate or even author the existence of evil? Well, denominations and uh, theological systems aside, uh, biblically we don't know all the mechanics or details of how and why and where the uh, evil intentions of uh, perfect beings like Lucifer and Adam and Eve uh, got their evil. Right. How did they receive these evil intentions, these evil desires? We know that uh, Lucifer and Adam and Eve chose to sin against the Lord. They weren't forced or manipulated into doing it. They did it in and of themselves. The evil was in them. The evil was by no means in God. God is pure and holy. He's the lawgiver. He gets to decide what is good and evil. He gets to do anything he wants in heaven and on earth. He rules and reigns. He is sovereign over his creation. We know that the universe exists for God. We know that he knew everything that would ever happen in advance. We know that he even ordains and orchestrates things, that he is controlling all things. Proverbs 16, 4, the Lord has made everything for its own purpose, even the wicked for the day of evil. Now the word evil there can mean calamity, disaster, judgment, but everything has its purpose and it's for God, it's for him and his glory. As we know, Ephesians 1.11 says, uh, all things work after the counsel of God's will. But wherever evil came from, God did not author it, and he did not delight in it. He hates evil because he is holy. He is set apart from all wickedness. He does not delight in evil. You see, if you are a Christian and you believe in an infinite and eternal God who knows the end even before the end existed, he knew it before the world began, and perhaps he even ordained it because of his own glorious uh, purposes. Uh, he ordained certain things to exist for uh, our ultimate good and for his glory and for his exaltation. We must agree that God allowed, at least, whether you like the word allowed or permitted or orchestrated, ordained, uh, whichever word is most biblical, the fall, even uh, the fall of man and the fall of Satan. These things happen for a reason. They can't be purposeless. They, they can't be w totally without meaning. They can't be random either. God used these things for a reason, for a purpose. I think we have to agree with that. No matter what denomination or theological stance we take, uh, their evil existed. And it was it's their evil. It's not God's evil at all. It's their personal sin and evil and rebellion against God. They chose to do these things against God. They wanted to be like God. They wanted to be equal with God. They wanted to replace God. And therefore they were deceived by the deceitfulness of sin. But if, in fact, Satan and Adam and Eve would never sin, if they chose to be holy forever, then Jesus would not be needed as the savior of the world. Sin wouldn't exist, therefore the sin bearer wouldn't exist. He wouldn't be necessary. He wouldn't come from heaven and die and show the greatest love and save countless sinners through the cross. He would have never been glorified and exalted in his resurrection and ascension to heaven, sitting at the right hand of God as the high priest who intercedes for his people. All of this would have never happened, would have never been necessary if those things didn't occur. How could God save anyone by grace if no one needed to be saved by grace? You see, I think whether you are a Calvinist or Arminian, you would have to agree with the essence of what I'm saying that there is a reason, there is a purpose, that God is glorified in Christ, dying for sinners, bearing their sin, making atonement, saving countless people by grace through faith. There has to be a reason. God was by no means caught off guard or surprised when Adam and Eve rebelled against them and uh, partook of the forbidden fruit. It couldn't be an accident, but we don't know how far to take it biblically. There is so much mystery. Where on earth did they get their sinful intention? Where on earth did they get sinful desires within their heart? Where did it come from? How can sinless beings be tempted and then actually perform evil things? 
especially Satan, who is a perfect, sinless being in heaven in the presence of God, with great knowledge of so many things. Adam and Eve were ignorant on so many things, but Satan had uh, a lot of depth into who God is, much more compared as uh, to Adam and Eve. I would say the author of evil and sin is in fact Lucifer, the devil. God is the lawgiver. He gets to decide what is good and what is evil. He cannot sin against himself. He cannot commit evil. He defines what evil is, and he is sovereign over all of these events. Because of Lucifer's pride and his desire to uh, be equal with God, he fell into wickedness. And God did not force or manipulate anything. But we don't know where that evil came from. It is a total mystery.